Uh, basically, John. Well, the basic nature of the film is about John Stewart. Well, it's about Stewart, really. John met Stewart in uh, Liverpool Art College in 1957, and Paul McCartney and George Harrison were at the Institute, which was this part of the same building around the corner. It was a school, a high school, and they kind of that's how they kind of got to get, got it together. At this stage, John was like basically he was at Art College, but didn't well, wasn't really kind of paying full attention, and got into it, started playing rock and roll group. Persuaded Stewart, who sold the painting and the John Moore's exhibition, to buy a bass guitar and to join the band. And they basically got the job of being the resident band for the college. She used to play at every college dance and, you know, basically all student, whatever. But they were not very, well, they weren't, weren't considered by anybody from all the people like, people like Alan Williams, who was their first manager, who was a pain in the arse, um, to be any good at all. So although they played a few, like, gigs, there was, not, there was no money involved. It was just basically, you know, they were, they were at college, so therefore they got to be the, in, the, in the, col the college band. Not only were the band not considered <coughs> any good, the band themselves didn't seem to think that much of Stuart's bass playing. What, what was in it for him? Why was he in it? Was it because he was John's mate, or did he want to be a rock and roll? Well, there are two. There are two versions. Basically, depending on whose who's research you, you want to listen to, Howie Casey from a band called Jerry and the Seniors said he was a good bass player. Klaus Vorman, who was Astrid's boyfriend before Stuart turned up, was said he was a good bass player. But lots of other people say basically he couldn't play a note. And the reason why he stuck his back to the audience was partly to look cool which he did, and partly to hide the fact that he would occasionally miss, miss um, the bass riff. So basically, um, the re I think the reason why, based on that premise, is basically he was John's best mate, and he looked cool. Also, the, all, the, all, the, all the girls fancied Stuart, so if you're going to have, like, you know, you basically, everyone else, all the rest of the band got Stuart's cast-offs, so we'd just stand there, kind of looking cool, with the shades on, chewing gum, smoking a cigarette, and a big quiff, and if all the girls would come over and say hello, and bloody well, and we, so the rest of the band would say, oh, uh, this your mate, is it? Oh, hello, love. Yeah, and all that. So basically, yeah, he was there for two reasons. One to look cool, one to be John's mate, and one to attract the girls. That's well, three reasons, isn't it, really? Bad mathematician.